The characters and events depicted in this podcast is for mere entertainment. Any similarity to actual persons living or dead or going through their third surgery is purely coincidental. Listen at your own risk. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Somos the Next Generation. So, we are approaching our uh, our winter finale. We are just three episodes left uh, before we uh, wrap up for the first part of the season, of season three. Um, you know, I've got to say, I've got to admit that this season has been quite a ride. It's been a, it's been a crazy roller coaster ride, but nevertheless, it has been an exciting one. It has been a very interesting, uh, interesting season. You know, I know you're probably looking at me right now and uh, wondering why I'm dressed like this. Well, I think the, 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 the episode will probably solve that, that mystery and I'll probably explain it to you in, in just a bit. Um, but hey, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all enjoyed part one of my uh, first tr- trilogy. You know, I wanted to start slowly, you know, kind of do... Uh, what I'm trying to talk about, do a step by step, you know. So I wanted to talk, start slowly. I'm going to explain, you know, how important a first impression is and how it leads to the, which is the next install, the next installment of this trilogy, which is today's episode, a possible first date. So, so for this uh, second entry, you know, I shall be talking about um, about first dates and how it would, how would it also lead. To the uh, to next week's episode and the final the third and final installment of the trilogy, so you know so you know for for a first date what do we want to do you know we want to we want to look great we kind of want to impress and you know so for this occasion you know I kind of dressed up a little you know try to uh, maintain the uh, the the theme related to the episode so. Um, you know, you just want to, you know, you want to look great. You want to look a bit dapper. You want to, uh, try to catch the other person's eye, you know, kind of make, kind of want to seal the deal in a sense, you know, in terms of if the, this first date goes well and, you know, if it becomes something more than that, you know? So let's talk about, let's talk about first dates, you know? Oh, before I get to that, you know, for today's drink, you know, I did get just a small glass of wine, just very, very small, very tiny, nothing much, nothing too big, you know, which I shall take a taste. Uh, Give me one second. (sighs) Very, very (laughs) grapey. So, of course, okay, let me, let me go ahead and start. So, you know... In, for, in terms of first dates, you know, what is it, what is it that we're looking for? What is it that we are uh, expecting? You know, what is important about a first date? Um, what, we should, what, we should, what is it that we should know about a person before we agree or we accept or we kind of make the move to go on a first date or go on a date, you know? Um, when should we decide that it's time to, to do it, you know? So, of course, you know, the way a person comes off at first is, it's obviously very important, hence, you know, my first impression. So, you know, I will share, I will share some thoughts, some, I will show some, share some opinions of what I think. So, so here we go. You know, I feel like dating in the, uh, in the heter- heterosexual world is a lot easier than dating in a homosexual world, you know, uh, especially for us men. I think it's a little more, it's a little more complicated, um, and I mean, I want to kind of look back at the the topic, what I was talking about in episode seven, about tops and bottoms. You know, I hope you guys watched that video too and kind of, you know, learned something from that. Um, so, you know, what do you do? What do you do if you're on a date with some with a guy, you know, who also tops, or what do you do when you go? on a day with the guy who also bonds, you know, it, it doesn't work out, you know, it doesn't work out, doesn't, doesn't work like that, unfortunately. So at least in my case, it just wouldn't work. So, and, and that's just, you know, in, I guess in a gay man's world, but you know, nowadays I think 
dating is it's it's kind of complicated i think dating is pretty pretty hard nowadays and it's something that's rarely done in my opinion um you know some people don't want to be in a relationship at all you know some just are looking for you know friends with benefits or just casual sex and there's nothing wrong with that of course there's nothing wrong with that you know romanticism is not dead and it's not i don't think it's it's something that's gonna die ever but you know it is what it is but um but honestly like i said there's nothing wrong with that and i'll i'll probably get into into that 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 topic and kind of branch it out a little bit um in another in another episode so i do have something um it's not a part four but it's a just you know a continuation of some sort of a few topics that i've had that we've had in the past that i've you know that i've been speaking in it's, it'll be a spin-off i guess in a sense of this trilogy so I'll, I'll get to that so um so stick around for that so first date again what is it that we expect on a first date you know and this this is probably something that's also going to answer like what's important in a first date so um what are we looking for you know do we want to get invited for dinner do we want to go for drinks i think there's not there's not a wrong answer to this and there's not a right answer of course you know i think everybody dates differently everybody does dates differently and you know there's nothing wrong with that so a dinner, a dinner would be nice. Doesn't have to be anywhere fancy. I think the the importance of where you go when you meet this person, it, it's it counts, but it doesn't matter. I think the importance is just to be able to get to know the person and the person to get to know you a little more. So it doesn't matter if you go out for drinks or if you go out on um, for a hot dog outside the bar or or if you decide to go for ice cream you know which is also i think it's it's also kind of cute to go for ice cream you know i think it's uh, it gives an opportunity to kind of you know be a little more close a little more private in a sense as opposed to just you know going out for dinner and for you know maybe a glass of wine or something um so you know what is it that we expect i think we I think romantics kind of expect that though we do we expect to be taken out to dinner or we expect for them to just kind of not show up show us off but like maybe just like i don't know <laughs> i kind of lost my tangent there um so yeah i mean Drinks is always fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with just wanting to go drinks. I mean, you still get the opportunity to meet the person and there's, you know, you're not going to get go, you're not going to get batshit crazy, you know, or kind of go for shots and, you know, end up throwing up or ending up falling asleep or, or something, you know. Um, so when, when should we decide that it's time to go meet the person? I mean, I'm sure there's always... Nowadays, there's so many ways to meet someone. There's dating apps. There's, you know, uh, people that we know. You know, there's uh, maybe not so much coworkers, but you know, people we know, uh, friends of friends, things like that. Or you can pro pro probably just, you know, randomly meet this person at a at the club or at the bar or at the supermarket. You know, I don't know. Make it very Hollywood style. Um, so when should we decide that it's, you know, it's, it's the right time to go on a date or what is it that we, that, that should convince, convince us to finally go on a first date? You know, is the person seems like something that's going to be worthwhile or is it just something that's going to be like, let's go grab drinks and then when you'll end up the night with sex or something, you know, I think it's something that has to be, uh, kind of brought up in the, uh, in the mix kind of want to think about it it's also i think it's also important to know exactly what you want you know what is it that you are also looking for are you looking for a relationship are you looking for just 
casual sex or you're looking for somebody just to meet up every now and then when you know i don't know both of you are feeling very horny or something i don't know um i think this is also has to do with both of you you know um so what is it that you want you know that i think that's the first thing because you also don't want to be or play the uh the the wrong guy or the wrong person in the uh in the in the date you know maybe the person that invited you you know that person is looking to you know be something more with you they all they probably want a serious relationship you know or they want to get to know you a little bit or they just want to befriend you you know and uh maybe you get that idea too maybe you think okay this is probably the, the right person to you know start a relationship and uh probably the other person doesn't want that and then everything just goes downhill from there and it goes south and it doesn't work out um so i think those are the some things that you really have to pay attention you have to pay in mind that uh you know maybe not maybe that's not what they're looking for and that's when you kind of decide if yes the date is you know or you know what or just you know fuck it go on the date Go on the date. If you know, you know the person that's not going to just want to go, like, walk you to your car and say goodnight or, you know, hey, when shall we see it? When shall I see you again or something, you know, very like, like it happens in the movies, you know. If you know that's not how it's going to end, then, you know, oh, well, there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Like I said, I didn't mention, I will get to, to, to this, this conversation about a white night stand in a different episode. So hold off on that, and I will hold on on that on that thought. Um, let's see. So of course, you know, this this is this is a part of the trilogy. So I'm not gonna go off tangent either. I I want to get to the point. So I'm probably not gonna talk for too long. Um, you know, I'll probably just uh, you know go off for just a little more. Um, so again, you know. How is it important to go on a first day? I think it's very important. I think I might have answered it already, but you know, you do want to get to know the person, you know, you want to know the person you, you've been talking to, or you want to know the person that has been talking to you or has been reaching out or has been you know, wanting to, you know, take you out or something. Um, what if the person is, you know, a psycho or, you know, a jealous freak or something, you know, and, <laughs> so you don't want to deal with any any of that you know especially nowadays you know um so let's see where what, what else what other uh question did i have here mm, you know as you know i will always have some notes down here so i'm always going to look down just in, just you know so i don't get off tangent but uh let's see uh, la, 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 la. i mean what would be what would be nice to go on a date? You know, maybe go to Disneyland or something, or maybe go to uh, for dinner, like I mentioned, something nice. You know, a glass of wine here or there, or maybe a margarita, maybe some appetizers. You know, how do you present yourself? Do you want to? Uh, I mean. That's, that's, hold on, let me take a step back. How do you present yourself? Of course, you want to give a good impression on the first day. You want to, you don't want to scare them off or you don't want to seem kind of like lame or anything like that. So I think it's also important to, to know who you're going to go on a date with. And you, it is important to know if you think you're going to be okay, you know, um, Let's see, what else? What else should I talk about? You know, I think sometimes, you know, I, I, I type some things down, I write my notes down, and it seems like I get I get through my notes in the first like five minutes and, and then I'm just like la 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 let me just rant off and like hopefully something comes up, you know. Um I mean I also I, I also did mention that I think on a, it's nowadays it's kinda hard it's kind of hard to to do dates i don't think many people do that anymore or they don't 
didn't really pay attention to that, you know. And it's not that romanticism is dead, but you know, I think people just want to go, just want to cut through that and just go straight to whatever is going to come up. And I think it's it's not because they don't want to. Maybe it's because they they've gone through through a lot of things, a lot of dates, maybe through a lot of people that just or a lot of relationships just that do just hasn't worked out so maybe they just want to you know make their point across and be like you know what i you know i met you i like you and i want to date you and i want more than a you know date you know something a relationship something long term and sometimes people don't want that you know they don't want a, a long-term relationship <laughs> they don't want a long-term relationship they just want something you know casual in a sense you know not not a relationship where they're gonna take you to meet their mom and their dad and their family and you're invited to Christmas dinner or or a birthday dinner or something like that and you know that's okay I mean there's nothing wrong with that I mean I think nowadays uh, life is too complicated to even worry or even yeah even worry about it you know I think like I said, you have to be your, you have to set your mind of what you want in reality. If you want to be in a relationship or you want to start a new relationship, or if all you want is just company, you know, there's nothing wrong with just wanting company. Um, having friends, you know, probably they just want to befriend you. Not have a friends with benefits kind of situation, but just kind of have somebody you can. There was a term that I use when I was. A teenager, oh my God, see, make it. I make it seem like I make it seem like it's been forever, forever ago. I just turned twenty-seven, guys, so I feel like I feel old, and I'm probably really old in the gay world. So um, there is a a term I used that it was it was a mix of of like friendship. But having a friendship be something romantic. It's not friends with benefits because we're not. There's no sex yet. But it's um. I don't know. I forgot the term. I used it once and I kind of forgot. But you know something like that. You know, it's it's just company that you're looking for. That you know, you guys, you both have a fantastic time together. You know, there's always laughter, jokes, and you know, the conversations just flow and things like that. Um, I think, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I think everybody's free to date however they want to date. The people just have to know that, you know, that's what they're getting in themselves into. So, oh, they have to, uh, you know, just be a little more open-minded and not close-minded and be like, hey, you know, uh, if you don't want a like a serious relationship or you want to, you don't want to get married, then, you know, we can't do this, you know. I think it really depends if, the, if there's a mutual uh, likeness, you know, if they, if the, the couple like, you know, they like each other and they know they're going to be, they're going to be okay in the long run, you know, sometimes two people that love each other, you know, maybe one doesn't want a marriage, but the other does, you know, just sometimes that's a compromise, you know, I mean, I think I'm, I'm going off tangent now, this is why I try to write my notes down, because then I'm just ranting and going on and on and on and on about something, you know, I think I just, you know, I went I went from a first date to talking about marriage, and um, that's way off, you know, <laughs> so it's like, we're on a first date, let's get married now, um, anyway, uh, so hey guys, you know, as, like I mentioned at the, at the beginning, you know, we are approaching the, uh, the final episodes, hence my uh, promo uh, picture back right behind me. You know, we are in a final episodes for this uh, first half or this first part of of the season. You know, I always try to to end it during the Christmas time. You know, kind of give us uh, give myself uh, some some time off. You know, just trying to like regenerate and kind of like think back and create more ideas, more episodes for you guys. Um, so. You know, for this occasion, you know, this is the, the second installment of the trilogy. Next week's will be the last installment, which I'm going to talk about first times. Now, it doesn't have to necessarily be first times, you know, about sex, you know, but, you know, maybe first times in general as a couple, as a person, you know, that's that's kind of what I get into. I will write more notes, notes that 
that I can talk about for more than like 10 minutes or try, without losing my focus and without ranting off about something else, you know? Um, I don't know, maybe I'll talk about first times and how we got married. Um, <laughs> so, so that's that. I mean, thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you so much for um, always, you know, looking out and always uh, checking out the episodes. Um, and I think I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope you guys did kind of get an idea of what I was trying to get through with this episode about first dates, you know, and how it how it leads the uh, to the next episode, uh, which is next week, and how it you know how it um, compare and how it it, how it connects how it connects with last week's episode and um, and how it's gonna connect to the episode in two weeks for sure. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for listening to me, guys. I think I'm gonna wrap this up. I think I went out for a little too long, um, but yeah. And I will see you guys next week. See ya.